Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is Teddy Bears brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Alice and yes, Teddy Bears just bring a smile to my face. Everybody has some sort of memories of their first teddy bear and we'll talk more about that. But we're going to toss around some ideas and did you know? so popular that there's National Teddy Bear Day is September 9th. Mark that on your calendars. And as if that wasn't enough, there's National Bring Your Teddy Bear to School or Work Day, which is the second Wednesday of October. So that's two things coming up that you will not want to miss. Now, bit of history for the teddy bear. The year 1902. I was not around. Just getting that out there. So 1902, President Theodore Roosevelt goes on a uh, bear hunting trip. He was an avid hunter. Only the thing was, his associates were catching bears, um, hunting them, but he was not able to. He, he was not having, um, they said, luck. Um, so, and this is according to the National Park Service website, if you want to read more. Anyway, so, they have captured, the associates captured one. They said to President, what about if the one that we have here, if you want to, sh you know, shoot him? And he said, no, that was not sportsmanlike, he wouldn't do that. Word got out to the newspapers of that event. They made a whole cartoon about it. Uh, husband and wife in Brooklyn, who owned a candy store, saw the cartoon and decided, since they were making stuffed animals anyway, they would do a tribute, with the president's permission, to make the first teddy bear. And it was actually called Teddy's Bear, T-E-D-D-Y, Pasta Bear's Bear. Sort of come a little uh, dub the Pasta Bear as time went on. So, and this is actually a picture of a replica of the first teddy bear. Now, um, I would say that they really have withstood the test of time. Um, generations upon generations have um, been comforted with the uh, teddy bear. Adults and kids. Um, for children, it's been considered a very, um, the comfort is given, especially when there's some sort of transition in their life. Maybe they're starting school, things like that. Um, anything developmental, but it's also very helpful with adults, with any sort of stuffed animal. Um, adults have a lot of stress, um, even children do. Um, but did you know that the Build-A-Bear Company, along with uh, Atomic Research, found that 40% of adults sleep with stuffed animals and that they do find it very helpful. Um, and that 25% of Build-A-Bear customers, um, they're buying the bears for teens and adults. I thought that was an interesting fact right there. Um, there's been a lot of very iconic bears throughout the decades. Um, I would say the most popular and got it at the library. Winnie the Pooh. Here is the collection of the complete tales of Winnie the Pooh. And then another one is Paddington, and after that, we got DVD of Care Bears. Bears are now used very frequently on advertising. You see a lot on TV. Uh, there was the Snuggle Fabric Softener Bear, and now very common um, for one of the popular toilet papers is the whole bear family. <laughs> That's how it's going. Here's the quiz question for the day. 
getting off the table with the tape. Octophile. Think of our theme. What is it? It's a person who likes or collects teddy bears. And with a collection of teddy bears, there's really a lot of fun that people traditionally have, just like a teddy bear tea party or picnic. Um, I was looking for some teddy bears today. Actually, there's a couple of people around the library. For some reason, no one had one with them at work. They said that we had them at home, but not at work. And funny, when I said to them, when it's the office and says, oh, do you have a teddy bear here? Um, they said, no. No one said to me, why are you asking? I think that speaks a lot for my relationship with the people at the library. Sure does. It sure does. It sure does. Um, so, didn't have it. so on my way, I sort of put together a couple of things and made this picture. I don't know what else to tell you. So what you could do, first of all, if you're going to have a tea party um, or a picnic with your teddy bears, you know, get gussied it up a bit, okay? There's, nothing's complete without one of these fancy hats, okay? You may have seen this on yeah, previous we're off. <laughs> Here we go. And what you can also do is make a little food with that, okay? Everyone likes a little snack with their tea, okay? <laughs> You may say, what does this have to do with anything? It doesn't really. But when Rich went shopping, today happens that we're filming is actually Cinco de Mayo. Um, and this is a plantain. So at some point, this is going to be part of um, the festivities along with flan uh, for today. But I don't believe I've ever seen a plantain quite like this. So I just wanted to share that with you as I'm bruising this all over. And we're talking about tea parties. Moving on. Okay. Another book. Now, with the thing with teddy bears. Big question. This is from the book Buy, Keep, or Sell by Judith Miller. Because if you've got a collection, some people may inherit collections or uh, decide something else they want to do with it. This is a great book. I had just skimmed this because I wanted to find some things to show you on this. And in the case of you might say, what are teddy bears actually worth? Obviously like anything else collectible, there's a big range of this. This little fella, okay, is a Bing plush bear. Um, they're talking things, you know, before 1920 are gonna be getting a lot more money. This picture, I'll show you the picture. He is worth between eight and twelve thousand dollars, people. Between eight and twelve thousand dollars. This little fellow here. Okay. There you go. All right. And then it also tells you, well, if you're thinking of starting to collect, what's the type of thing you might want to look for to start a collection? And one of the things they say is something unique. If it was made for an event, that's going to get you more money. Um, this, these bears were actually made for uh, the fact that at the London Zoo, this little bear was, they had a whole event based on the fact that this little bear was the first um, that was bred at that zoo. So. This one, look how cute, look how individual like he looks, very different, um, and that's the cost. So, if you are thinking of starting a collection, a Robo Public Library, got this off the shelf yesterday, I'll be giving it back tomorrow. Um, so there you have it. We have gone over the history, the fun, something for all ages, um, and if you still have your first teddy bear, let me know. Put it in the comments. Do you have a name for them? I'd like to see pictures um, because they've really changed over the years. And I think it just makes people very happy to think about back in the day. So thanks for joining us and have a very nice day. Get it? E -E -O. Okay, done. Okay, bye.